Greg Bradle with KE Precision Ag here again and we're going to go over the GPS signals that we can get on the FMX and 750 displays. Number one, I just want to explain what we mean by repeatable accuracy when we talk about our GPS signals that we can get. Okay, so here's the screen on the FMX and this is what it looks like when we have a guidance line open and you can see on my virtual light bar across the top, it's all green so that means we're dead on the line. So when we're green, that means our steering system is working perfect. As we're going through the field, then that means that you know we're not losing our accuracy with our steering system. Now, let's say we come back two months later and we get on that same line and our steering system is gonna work just as good as it used to. But when we get on that line and we see that we're actually physically off from where we were two weeks ago or two months ago, then that is what we are talking about when we're talking about GPS drift. So with RTK, we're going to be within one inch. With WAS, we're going to be like three foot. So this is the type of stuff we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about what we have from everything between WAS and RTK. And there's different price points all across the board. So our first signal is WAS, and that's free, and we're going to be within six to eight inches pass to pass. So within five minutes of our stretch, you know, going just back and forth through the field, we should be within about six to eight inches. Repeatable accuracy is going to be like three foot or more, so that's why it would not be recommended for any planting or strip till and so forth. Next we have Range Point RTX which actually was just released this year from Trimble and is exclusive to Trimble equipment. And basically with RangePoint, it includes GLONASS satellites. So it's basically a little better than WAS. We're gonna be 20 inches or less repeatable and we're gonna be about six inches or less pass to pass. There will be a $250 per year fee for RangePoint RTX in the future. For the year 2013, this is a free service from Trimble. So next we have the Omnistar XP, which is $800 a year, and we're going to be about 3 to 4 inches pass to pass, and our repeatable accuracy is going to be about 6 to 8 inches. Now, the thing to remember with the Omnistar, with no GLONASS, is we can have convergence times of up to 45 minutes. So when we're going out to the field and we're wanting to make so we are going to put strips down that are going to be accurate to plant on top of or you know whatever application we're doing, we got to remember that it could take us 45 minutes in order to get the signal that we need so we know that we are as accurate as we should be. The next step from there would be the Omnistar G2 signal, which is basically very similar accuracy to the XP, but it includes GLONASS satellites. So it's the same subscription per year, which is 800, but then we also have a unlock. We have to unlock the display another $2,000 in order to receive the G2 signal. So all the accuracy is the same, but the big advantage here with the GLONASS satellites is we're going to converge much faster. It's going to be about 10 minutes. It could be a little over, but in general, most guys are running about 10 minutes for convergence time. The next step would be the Omnistar HP signal, which in some cases this may be the route to go. It's going to be about a four inch repeatable accuracy, and our pass to pass isn't going to vary a whole lot, but it should be pretty accurate to within about three inches or so. And again, with the HP, we only have GPS satellites. So again, it's going to take us 45 minutes or maybe even more or a little less in order to get the accuracy that we need with the HP. Okay, and the next and the most popular step is the Trimble RTX system. We do have a standard and a fast where the only difference between the two is the convergence time with our standard it's going to take us probably about 10 to 15 minutes to get the accuracy we need 
with the RTX Fast, it's within a minute. It's just like the RTK. We've got 1.5 inch accuracy, which is really amazing when we think about, you know, we can go anywhere we want, you know, up next to trees with our GLONASS satellites, and we can go, if we have farms spread across several miles, we don't have to switch base stations or anything or have line of sight view from a base station, from a radio. And so with the RTX, everything is through the satellites and we're down to 1.5 inch accuracy. Our standard is $16.50 a year and our fast is going to be $18.50 a year. And then we also have the Trimble VRS network. So we can connect this modem in the tractor cab and connect to a Verizon or AT&T data plan and we can get our RTK corrections through the internet by using this modem. And so again, on here, we're gonna be sub-inch accuracy, repeatable and pass-to-pass, -pass, and we're gonna converge within minutes. The next step would be the RTK base stations, which has a radio on it, so we will basically transmit a radio signal from a base station that's within 10 miles away, and then our roving receiver on the tractor will receive that signal and will be within one inch of accuracy. So basically with a base station, we're gonna lose about an eighth of an inch of accuracy for every mile away from the base station. That's just kind of the rule of thumb.